<clears throat> well, hi everybody. Uh, Mal Burns here. I'm not letting you see me today because I'm wearing an avatar that is unfit for visual consumption. But I'm here joined by Joe Builder over at uh, the Lost World Grid. And, um, well, the uh, particular grid um, that uh, we've got up at the moment is, um, I guess it's called the Grotto, isn't it, Joe? That's that's it is. It's actually in the uh, welcome center. It's the below us. It's in the uh, underground area. Right. Well, this is one that really attracted me. I mean, now uh, when you, um, I keep using the expression "put the lid off," his, I, <laughs> I realized what it was all about. <clears throat> but. Um, when you took me down here originally, I was just overwhelmed um, at this sort of complex of cabins, all of them underground. Maybe if you move forward slowly, well, um, I'll follow you. I'm, I'm using uh, avatar controls here rather than camera, um, just so we can see what's going on. Um, as you can see, very wonderful build here for the waterfalls. I must get one of those um, lovely um, scripts that makes the water puff in the air when it lands. <laughs> Um, I rather like that effect. Very, very magical, this, I think, is the way I'd describe it. So, um, would you agree, Chair? Well, this particular area here is a, uh, a lot of uh, different creators, a lot of different <laughs> items that were either uh, a take copy that were picked up during my years in Open Sims and kind of uh, saved everything and put it, made this big grotto out of the parts I came up with. So, yeah, I used a little of imagination, I suppose, with it. Oh, it's, it's absolutely lovely. Now, the thing that really got me about this is you think, oh, well, this is nice. It built a nice underground cave here. But in fact, we're in... Oh, no, let me just take the camera through there just to see the edge of in there. See, we've got water surrounding us all here and the candles. Um... What surprised me when we first came here is um, you left me alone to explore, telling me that it's a whole breed. <laughs> so I think the magic is the fact that um, we, we turn off the um, main thoroughfare. Uh, excuse me a second. It's um, a navigate. I'm never very good at navigating an avatar, best with a camera. But let's say, uh, yeah, let's go up here. Um, we can leave this cavern. And what we actually find ourselves coming into is a whole complex of... Um, pathways, underground tunnels, as it were, that connect a whole lot of cabins together. So I'm going to follow, I'm going to follow you, Joe, here. We'll, we'll tour them um, in, in order, as it were, with you. So uh, about the slightly the, jerky avatars here, folks. Um, this is me. the place that confuses me. Do I make a left turn or do I make a right turn? That is entirely up to you. Because <laughs> I, I'm, I'm likely to be even more confused. If I remember, this is a direct... <laughs> This is actually the direction I took when I um, came. So, uh, these lovely dark tunnels, very richly textured, but with um, sort of wall lights and ferns and moss and, uh, the, you know, the, the moody stuff <laughs> that makes us feel we're sort of um, well underground. I almost expect dripping stalactites <laughs> to be coming from <laughs> putting little sort of moisture drops falling around me. As you see, we've just followed a cavern here, um, a, a tunnel here, I should say, and um, we're coming out um, into yet another build. I think this might be the one that I like least because it's got dead bodies lying around, but we'll, we'll come to that. <laughs> yes, well, we are. this one here, I, uh, I try, you know, I don't have everything. So, I mean, I have certain builds that I figured might, I might incorporate into this grotto. Mm -hmm. that I've kind of constructed and uh, when it got to be to come to this little area that I kind of went into the creepy part and I said well I got some statues laying around let me throw them in here give it a little uh, give it a little effect yeah and I think I might have overdone it in this little room <laughs> <laughs> well yeah I mean you can always avoid this room if you want as I was I, I, took, well, I took one look into it and thought very nice but I'll keep up for there thank you who knows what is lurking around the next corner that might do damage to my avatar. If somebody but, wants to build something similar to this, uh, what I did was I, uh, I rose the terrain up to about 40, 50 meters, mm -hmm. and then I actually cut tunnels and pathways through the terrain. I uh, lined the tunnels with sculptures of uh, rocks, uh, textured them. Mm -hmm. uh, I picked up these, these uh, sculpted uh, tunnels and OS grid 
and uh, you just keep stretching them to size and texture them, get them to the right height, and uh, you can make something similar to this. Now I've seen how you've done it, I think, you know, oh, well, give me an empty sim and I would try something like that myself. But, um, oh, I like this. The pirate. The pirate. Of yeah, that's the pirate. Dang, but there's a pirate somewhere. It might even this is drop. another. It might even be Johnny Depp if I look carefully. But no. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it might be. This is another little free thing that was floating around. It's a, uh, I guess it was called Cannibal Island at one time. And uh, it was, there was a lot more to it. So what I did is I kind of unlinked it, linked it, put it back and made it look as you see it now. Right. And put it in a big uh, cavern like, as just for a scenery. I guess you could boil some noodles or something in this big pot. Who knows? <laughs> Shush. I sincerely hope they are noodles and not. Um, I'm a vegetarian, so oh. <laughs> I don't. Even, I don't. Oh, even if it's animal meat, I wouldn't be interested. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm sure if I lived in these wild fantasy times, I might be forced to eat more than her. <laughs> uh, we can continue this way. Yeah. Then you know. Sometimes I get these afterthoughts, and I'll probably add more to this to give it a more of an effect. But you know, uh, for now, I mean, I got so many things going that it's uh, just pretty much on hold. All right, we got another area we're going to come into right up here. This is more of a butterfly, uh, uh, mushroom type of uh, area. Oh, and I bumped my head on the rock. That was good. Uh, <laughs> Oh, interesting. I, don't I have insurance. I had a grey rock for a minute. Tough, tough on resin. Yeah, I love it. Oh, I love these mushrooms. As, as you were saying to me the other day, you know, I, I, I've got mushrooms all over the place in uh, one of our uh, metal world sort of, um, uh, areas. But um, it's amazing what you can do with just the basic shape and a whole load of different textures. These uh, mushrooms are basically uh, mushrooms that have been floating around. All I did with these is uh, I changed the colors on them. And uh, it came out with these like crazy looking mushrooms that actually look pretty well in here, as far as I mm. was concerned when I built it. Yeah, yeah it looked great. And the flowers are very sort of bright and colorful, too, uh, which you know, gives it that sort of slightly better than real feeling. Yeah, uh, yeah, I was looking actually for the sort of fantasy look. Up the steps and down to another tunnel. Yeah, we got another the, one. The, these, these tunnels, by the way, aren't fully circular. In other words, we don't just follow the same tunnel around. We keep <laughs> you you take a sometimes take a different tunnel out or a different turn and find something unexpected. Yeah, we come across the bridge. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully we don't fall through. I sound the there. I seem to be bouncing a bit here, but no, this I seem to be following you down. Well, we got different areas here that are hidden. If somebody wanted to come in there with their significant other yeah. and uh, have a little cozy time. Uh, there's cuddles and little couches but hidden in uh, areas where you don't really see. You have to hunt them down. Mm. Oh, it looks like I missed the bridge. You're moving far too fast for my camera. <laughs> okay, how about you now? <laughs> I think we got to pay this guy. Nah, maybe not. Uh, oddly enough, the um, Avagon Avatar I'm in at the moment is showing me a credit as 100,000 some other currency. I don't know where that came from. Well, by all means, pay the monk. <laughs> I suspect. Um, it, I suspect it's actually a glitch of some sort, because <laughs> I don't recall ever accumulating <laughs> that money anyway. <laughs> okay. What do we got here? Yeah. Well, we got nothing jumping out at us, so that's a good thing. Yeah. Definitely. I know in my travels I'd be picking up various sort of things like spiders and spider webs and stuff. Okay, look, <laughs> I like we're something hit. tells me I don't actually have the heart to ever get around to using. <laughs> it, okay. We're heading back to the entrance again. Oh, are we? Right, okay. What's, the, what's straight ahead there, then? Straight ahead? Where are you looking at? Oh, back there? That's where we went when we first got started. Oh, fine. Okay, fine. So we're turning left and we're coming to. Okay, sense of direction is going a bit haywire, of course, with me. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to think who the heck we are. 
oh, you know, something is really strange. I think we should be coming out on that other end. Yeah, no, this is actually, um, this is where we started. Well, yeah, how come we didn't come out on that other end? Let's take an explore over there. Man, I can't I find memory shot. <laughs> yeah, I've been, I've been, um, I've been landscaping uh, my estates in the <laughs> Great Canadian Grid, and um, I've been altering it substantially from the original OAR file I bought from Action Grid. And, you know, the idea was I've got these big walls of mountains and stuff and people working their way through it, and um, I'm getting myself lost. I mean, the idea is to get other people lost, not me. Oh, I think I know <laughs> what we did. Yeah, I've actually seem to have lost you right now, so I'm sort of maneuvering uh, around various obstacles in the form of plants. No, I just went ahead real fast through one of the tunnel entrances to see uh, why we didn't come out this way. Oh, right. Oh, there, there you are. So. Yeah. Okay, now I get it. It was two uh, exits out of there, actually. And we just went through one of the scenes rather than this exit. Oh, right. I got you. Ah, here we are, back where we started. Yeah. Oh, this is pretty much the biggest cavern, isn't it? So it's got some... Oh, yes, and there's a snuggle spot. <laughs> yeah. I mean, nothing too, nothing too naughty. <laughs> <laughs> and here we are, back where we started. Indeed. And, oh, that's and, a nifty little tour. I think what I'm going to do now is I'll kill the camera and... We'll pop somewhere else. Um, but we have the forest, don't we? Yeah, we got the magical forest. Okay. Well, we'll um, we'll just pause a second, and I'll bring up the thing that stops my film. Okay. Well, thanks to the magic of hypergridding, teleporting, or whatever you call it, uh, we have now arrived at the. Uh, what do we call this, Joe? The magical forest. This is the magical forest. Yeah. So you lead, and we'll have a look around. I'll be walking along behind you. Best I can. <laughs> in a rather laggy avatar, of course, but at least we got all the detail there. This is so colourful and nice. Um, you know, this isn't a cave anymore. All these, all this foliage and dust flies and everything else. It's all outdoors. Um, and it's it's lovely. It's not called magical for nothing, is it? <laughs> exactly. There's a lot of smaller individual caves here for exploring, but I think if we hit everyone, that would take much too long because there's quite a few here. Yeah, we'll just have a basic look around for ten minutes. Or All so. right, let's let's walk this way. And again, I will remind you that this particular build here is a combination of of different items that. I've had and collected over the years, and uh, as far as I know, everything here is legitimate. Yeah, yeah it's some, as far some, as I know. Sometimes hard to tell if somebody's. Well, I actually know. No file in every upload you do without permission, for example. <laughs> <laughs> actually, the creator of the actual creator of the trees and and everything, uh, the one who's the real artist, I personally know is he's a friend of mine. Mm. So I fortunately have his builds here to to show. Uh, okay, we're walking through here. Should we come up to a little stream? But you know what? Before we go across that stream, I think up on the hill we got some. Uh, some huts on a on a uh, on a huts on a hill. Okay. <laughs> uh, well, on a rock. Oh yeah. Me. Please don't take me up those stairs while I'm filming. No, we. Won't. <laughs> <laughs> it will we go won't. haywire. We'll I just tell walk you. around. Yeah, there's some stairs here that take you up to a little hut that's up on top, and uh, we'll just look up because I I don't want you getting sick and falling down. And yeah. God, Lord forbid we have no insurance here. Yeah, well, my camera, unfortunately, is the ground level, so we're just taking it in from this angle right now. Oh, that's <laughs> just it. That must have been some quicksand I stepped in. Uh, yeah. Uh -huh, yeah. <laughs> I might want to jump over that. Um, I'm trying to figure out which way you've gone, actually. Um, uh, let's see if I can see you. Where the heck did you go? Did you go up the hill? Are you still up the hill? Um, I'm, you, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm up the hill. Uh, you get lost here quick. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm sort of coming around the other side. Away, uh, away from the house, and uh, now I guess well, I'm, I'm running. I'm looking for you. <laughs> Where the heck did he go? I'm definitely not running. Okay, I'm going to head down the hill inlandish, if that's the word, to 
I'm sort of now on a little sort of stony outpost with a nice arch of flowers. Oh, and another ladder. Uh, let's see, where the heck you went? Da, 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 da. Uh-huh, uh-huh. But you know what? It's silly me. I should have used the radar. <laughs> uh, boy, well, I'm now, I'm now in the puddle, or rather pool, I think it is. <laughs> oh, you're a good ways away from me. TP2, there you are. Now you got me in the water. Right, okay, well, I'm going to go down the stairs here, so I'm on dry land again. And then, um, oh, yes, more stairways back the way I came. Okay, I'm, a sort of, I'm in a sort of little empty batch now here. So, the, uh, oh, there you are. You, I'm ahead of you, you now. If you don't do, go too fast, I can probably attempt to bother you again. Okay. And up there we go. Here we are. Yeah, this is the bit I nearly went down. Uh, all right. I, this, is, this particular cave here is, oh. I don't think we're going to go in it because it's a, it's a big one. A lot of tunnels inside. goes up to uh, different scenes in there, like an ice scene. But it's... Uh, well, worth exploring, but maybe on another day because we'll get lost in there too. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, so it's a one can do while filming. Well, I might come back and film some extra footage, the silent footage offline, and I can do something with it at some point. And we got another little scene there. Oh, I, love, another I love those trees, the fir trees. Uh, well, it's the way they're lit, actually, that's <laughs> making a big difference. Oh, another cave. Yeah. Another cave with waterfalls inside and, you know, various pose balls in there if anybody would be interested. And uh, I think I'm walking around this way. I think we might have passed a lot of things, to be quite honest. But yeah. here we go to a uh, more or less a little mushroom patch. That's yeah, just say you can't see everything, but there's more than enough to see. So well, we're getting a real good idea. <laughs> yeah, you know? real good idea. And there's some crazy mushrooms over here. Probably best not to eat any of those. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They'd be somewhat filling due to their size anyway, wouldn't they? Don't learn any other magic properties they might have in a magical forest. In a magical forest, make no mistake. And we'll go around this outside here. Surrounded by water. And this is a little, uh, another area, display area that's got a little water running around it. Another little cozy area. Oh, lovely. Did you see my legs? They were like split. What the yeah. heck is up with that? I love, I love, I love the rickety feel of the bridge, you know, as well. You know, it just feels like ageless. Yeah, we've got some ruins coming up here past these crazy mushrooms again. Can't get yeah. enough the mushrooms, eh? <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. I don't know why they grow here. It must have been cattle here at one time. <laughs> oh yes, definitely. Yeah. Uh, let's see how we can it's, get... It's, these ruins are all prim work, aren't they? Sculptures? Yeah. Oh, oh it's sculptures. Fine. Yeah, yeah. let's see. Uh, where exactly am I going? Oh, okay. Oh, don't ask me. <laughs> I'm just... I'm just are, are you st you're still behind me? There you are. <laughs> yeah, indeed. Yeah, this is all part of the ruin area. Uh, we got a, a spot inside the ruins. Could be a cave. Could be just about anything. And look at me, I stopped. Unbelievable. Let me go this way. Yes, yeah, so I'm, I'm sort of stopping and starting, I think. It's wow, so am me. Something so invisible. I have to, uh, okay, just hang on. So, there you are, I've got you again. Fine. Something invisible got me. Let's try this. Right. Bet you I know what it oh, is. Yeah. <laughs> Danger of invisible prints. You forget where you put them. Right, well, have, have you gone in there? Yeah, I went inside here. Oh, so, yeah, through the bow okay. into the room. More stone, rock, and water. That's certain commonalities with the ghetto. Oh, I mean, the grotto. <laughs> the ghetto. Oh, there's a, there's a classic for you. The ghetto, huh? <laughs> yeah, I've called the grotto the ghetto. Yeah. My apologies. <laughs> I, I guess the fun part here is be getting out of this thing. Let me see. Oh, I think I made it. Look at there. I went I through the maze. Think, well, I haven't made it yet, but I think I vaguely saw where you went. <laughs> um, make a turn. Left turn. Left turn? Uh, let's see where you're at. Okay. Where are you? Now, oh, yeah, I see this you. Is an effect, this is an effect I love, too. The sunlight coming down in beams through the trees. That, that effect's always... Um, oh, we can walk this way. Headache. What we need here is breadcrumbs. <laughs> 
big mossy tree. And more birds. <laughs> and more to birds. eat the breadcrumbs. That's what they need, actually. A set of birds that actually eat breadcrumbs while you're watching. But that's really a yeah. transparent horse up there. I don't know if he needs food or what. Oh, he's a ghost. He's a, he's a, he's a, you know, uh, ghost horses don't need to eat. It's like human ghosts. Here we are, more sunbeams coming down through the trees. Yeah, walk through here. Oh, yes. Yeah, you can easily get lost in here. Easily. I don't know if this should be bigger, because I guess bigger might be boring. You know, something like this, you want to keep it small. One region, I would suppose. Well, it depends on what you come across. And, you know, you might suddenly think, oh, but I can add another region now. I've got enough new. There's an off <laughs> area. A few material that I can expand the experience, you know. But I, I think it's... It's it, it's got that wonderful feeling I like at the moment. I take that I presume that's an off sim thing, which I've been using that kind of thing. Um, you know, you feel it's big enough, and because it's nicely terraformed, you wander around and make you turn around corners and things like that, and you you think it's a hell of a lot bigger than just that um, boring old square patch that represents the sim. You know, <laughs> I think it's all uh, has to do with placement. And, um, and and decoration and use a little thought, like how you would want your real life home to look. Yeah. You know, and if you have this stuff in inventory, trees or different textures and sculptures, and play with the textures and get it to what you need, and okay. before you know it, you'll have something uh, close to this or even better. This is my back garden kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> the back garden I always dreamt of. <laughs> Yeah. But it exists in the nether realm. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Yeah, it's lovely stuff. Some big trees here again. Yeah, this is the same area we went by the first time. We're just looping yeah, back around. That, this is, yes, of course, my sense of direction, finally. <laughs> yeah, we go this way. Back to the big bunny. Okay. Then I guess we'll probably kill the camera. We can only go around in circles so much and keep the... Uh, he was interested. <laughs> right, right, right. But, uh, yeah, we've seen uh, pretty much... Uh, yeah, this is the way we came when we left the first time. Oh, okay. So I, see your, I see your footprints in the dirt here. <laughs> <laughs> that is good to know. So I can, yeah. If I get lost here, I can always turn around and follow my footsteps back. <laughs> Here's a little uh, little teleporter I made that'll take you back to Lost World, this, uh, this little piece of construction here. Just step yes, through over the waterfall and it'll teleport you right back. Ah, indeed. Okay. Oh, and from that, uh, good grief. Before we uh, go, I'm just going to pan in with my camera because I haven't spied with my little eye. They look like bunnies, but they've got um, reindeer horns on them. <laughs> oh, that must be something in the milk. Oh, over here. Yeah. Oh, these are the jackalopes. Yeah. Uh oh, see? Uh oh. Uh, oh there. Uh, well, yes, you got rid of them, haven't you? <laughs> no, they, they were hiding. They're hiding. They're magical bunnies. Uh, so what? actually that is a very nicely decorated teleport too. It's it's I, I like the fact it's sort of you know, people walk into that and get a bit of a shock. <laughs> it, it's not labeled, you know, but you you often when you get a sim particularly immersive like this, you know, you sometimes forget that there's got to be a way out of here somewhere other than actually going to your map. You need one like these. You want this? Yeah, sure. Well, we can fix that right up. Just highlight that, baby. General, anyone can copy. And uh, there you go. Okay, well, before I can do that, so I'm actually going to kill the camera, but I think we've seen a, a rather loss here. In fact, just before I do, I'm just tilting the uh, camera up. I love these sort of sparkly presences um, that are actually above the portal. I don't know what you call them, but they just seem to be right, you know. They're sort of like fluffy balls of uh, sparkling and floating in the air. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, uh, this was one of those... Uh projects that OpenSim Virtual had that uh, if you could build something similar to a particular photo that was posted there. Yeah. So uh, I actually, on uh, that day, I was actually in the mood. So I put this together and here it is. I set it for take copy on my uh, region for the longest time. I don't know how many people grabbed it, but I just moved it over here, figured it 
fit in with this this look I got going here. Indeed it does. I'll just leave it for take copy. Let anybody get it. Yeah. I'm going to kill our camera now, but thanks an awful lot for the tour. We've been, okay, uh, hey, man. We've been uh, with Joe Builder in the Lost World, and um, some of the regions are here on, are online all the while, especially the landing area, but um, different regions, um, different period, different times. So um, there's um, a, a lot of astonishing stuff to discover here, and uh, we've only seen the magical things, these two, two locations that I'd really, really like. Um, the, there are a whole, um, the, there's, um, oh, actually, before we go off, just for the record, you have shown me the lands that will shortly be the Harry Potter build. Um, yes. Um, that's going to get some attention, I think. Yeah, that's going to be one big, massive, epic castle and the whole, as oh. much as the Harry Potter I can put in there. The whole, the whole, the whole hogwash, or should I say, <laughs> 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 yeah, no, that's it, the hogwash. <laughs> Well, yeah, you could go for a different name, I suppose. Like that. That, was, that was a slip of the tongue, but it worked quite well, didn't it? Okay, okay well, now once again, Change Joe. it to hogwash. <laughs> yeah, that's again, Joe, and I'm killing, um, I'm killing the recording now, so um, we'll be back soon. <laughs>